everybody, it's me and I'm here with Miranda and we're going to do a red rose tutorial. It has been a few years since I've done one and it's my favorite thing and this is like a starting with a fail and it's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to show you how to fix a fail and how to make roses. So I have uh, French pink on some fake nails and now I'm going in with some wet and wild white. So if you're having problems with French manicures, no worries. So you want to eyeball where it is you want your French manicure to start and you put your brush down and then pull. Then take your brush, pull, 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 pull. Get all of the extra little divots out and then touch it off like that with your fingers, okay? Now, with your brush, you use it as a guideline and you turn the finger like that and you just dot it on and then pull to the side. Get your brush filled, wipe it clean, and then dot. And if it falls onto your hand while you're painting, don't let that distract you because sometimes polish will build up and you'll see it like on the thing. You see that little that little drip that's gonna drip? It always is gonna be that way. So you, you sometimes get drip, so you try to get all the drip off. Here. All the drip off as you're pulling the polish out like this and then you swipe the excess and then get it on there. Now, this looks funky, right? That's what I want you to see. I want you to see funky. If I get this, oh, Robin Moses, it looks funky. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you. French manicures are hard to learn. And so it's hard to do when it's flawless. So this one is way less. I just dropped a drop of white, which no problem. Pull out and then get most of it pulled off. Then touch the finger up and pull it up this way and then to the side. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, pull the excess of, off the polish wand and then pull the finger. Down. Okay, so while, while I was painting this, I dropped two drops of white polish onto the onto my thing and I wanted to show you that because you drop polish so just make sure that you have something underneath you while you're learning because no matter what you're gonna drop polish on French manicures unless you have all of these really high-tech expensive materials that in the end look just like somebody who has a regular French polish if you can do it really well so I'm just trying to teach you guys how to save some money for those of you guys starting out or those of you guys don't have a lot of money because of whatever reason. You can't afford like $20 polish or whatever. This is a buck, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get my paints out. So I think that everything that I've said up to this point doesn't really count until now. So now you know how to do the French manicure. When you look at it now that it's a little bit more dry, it's still not all the way dry, but you see it, it's relaxed and it's relaxed down and, and that's what you want. And that is what you strive for with every French manicure. And so with that being said, now you can see why, okay, I have my brush and I have black, black, brown, green and red only. I'm going to spray them down with water so they're nice and thin. For those of you guys who are supporting my channel and getting brushes and stuff like that, I want—I just want to say thank you. Um, most I don't know if all of you guys know, but I just had surgery, but I feel great and I'm back to working. I just have, I haven't got my clients in yet and um, so I'm doing this at home by myself or in my shop by myself. So there is this and yes, I have my own nail shop. There we go. <laughs> Stop those questions before they start. So, so there's this. I'm going to add the black to the brown and make a dark brown right here. Add the, and then take that brown, black, and add it to the green here. And make a dark green here. And then add more brown to make it more hunter green. And then 
I will take this and wipe off my brush. And then with the red, I'll take a little bit of black, scoop the red, and make a dark red over here. The dark red is the most essential. You don't want it really dark. You just want it this maroon, beautiful, vivacious, like blood red. And just add a little bit of black for that. Okay. So then I'm gonna keep that sprayed and nice and thin. So whenever you hear a spray, I'm spraying water on the paint with my wand. I am going to separate the fingers so that you, you don't mess up the French manicure. It's very difficult, so really keep an eye on your French manicure at this time because it's kind of wet and because you need to make a line for your, your French. So I want my French to go around to the cuticle, around, and down. Carl. Then, this one, I want to probably go down into a V in a small way. And this is so much fun. And anything that you've made a mess on, just go ahead and start covering it with lines and with, with um, branches and little, you know, just know you don't have to worry about that anymore. And then here is this side. I'm using just the side of my brush and just barely sweeping side of my brush, barely sweeping. Okay, so that's gonna give me an idea of where I want my stuff to go. Now with the green, the dark green, and I like painting right here so you guys can kind of see where I'm getting my paints from and if, the, if you guys see that this makes a big difference, please tell me. So I'm pushing in the leaves. Now, rose leaves are pretty round, so I'm gonna try and keep them rounder. Bop, like that, little chubby leaves. Let me, let me zoom in a little now. Give them like a little hot spot to sit on. Round, round, and when you're when you're painting it, just think that in your head. Round, 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 round. And then once you get the technique, and then then you don't have to say that in your head anymore. It just happens. You're like, okay, I'm doing roses. So that's a great one. Okay, now I think I want to do one right here. I don't want to lose this line. This is a really pretty line. So put this here. Round, 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 round. Round, round. Round, 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 round. And again, you don't have to make them all big. They can, they can, you can have little baby round leaves too. Like that. I hope I got that in frame, and if I didn't, apologies. So there's this. And then this. And the same for this one. I'm backing, going backwards upon myself here. So I'm painting towards the cuticle and that because, because you can't really, you can't really like go full blast in the cuticle because then you have a mess and then you spend 25 minutes cleaning the cuticle and then you run behind. So like that's where you lose your time. So like I try and go inwards so that I don't get a bunch of stuff around the cuticles. And um, that's just from years and years of being behind and, and trying to catch up. So I share that with you for free. And, and in return, you sh share my work. <laughs> because let me tell you, if someone would have told me that, I would have been so much more on time and I could have had more clients way faster. So I didn't know. I didn't. I, there was no such thing really as nail art like this. So that 
and then around there. So there you have it. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay. So now with the with the roses, you could stop here and top coat it and it would be beautiful. You could add grapes here and it would be beautiful. You could add daisies, beautiful. You don't have to add roses, but I love doing red roses and I love doing red roses at this time of year. So I'm just gonna do what I live right now. And if you guys have any suggestions or any uh, comments or any of that, just put it in the description in the comment section. Okay, so now with the dark red, I'm gonna go in and I'm really gonna be liberal with um, my red. So it's just a blob, boom, just a blob of red. And then maybe another blob of red right here. Just, just kind of sweep it on. Another little blob of red, sweep it on. Don't be afraid. Another little psh, 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 and pull, psh, 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 and pull, and then we'll go to this next one. Now, uh, you want to see some of the leaf, so you want to go psh, 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 and keep that line. That's beautiful. You want everyone to think you painted a whole straight manicure. <laughs> then this one. And then a little tiny bud. And then I got paint on my finger, so I'm just gonna go and dot it on. Again, no hassle. This is where I think it's gonna be very gorgeous. So I'm gonna put a big one here and a baby one right behind it, like that. Okay, and then lastly, you go here for anyone who does this for a wedding or whatever please hashtag be inspired by robin moses so i can see when I, when you guys hashtag me hashtag inspired by robin moses and i can see them it really makes my day so so like i like to see what you guys are doing i'm i i already have my clients and i don't want anybody else's clients i just want to make art for you guys and you just share my art with those who need it so like i love seeing what you guys paint and i love being able to respond and so please do that for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this, push and backwards. Don't get near the cuticle this way because you're gonna get cuticle, cuticle paint. Dot, 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 and pull. And then clean your brush. Now, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Well, no, no, let this happen. Okay, so let me get this red out. Okay, and then the red, just pure red. Let me get some, spray it down. Wipe, mix, oh sorry. Mix, just pure red like this. And here we go. You want to do a little tiny C like this in the middle. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, zoom, 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 zoom. Little C in the middle. And then take it and push, 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 push. And then you can start to see it coming together. Push, push, push. One. A little C right here. Push down and around. Push, pull up, pull up, pull up. A little C, pull up, pull up. Okay, so if you see, I've um, I got a little bit of white out, and um, I'm putting it to the red and making a light red. And this light red right here is the one I'm going to use. There we go. So it's going to be about this color. Now, now it can be used as pink, but no, it will be a light red because it's highlighting a red. So you're just using a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Did I catch? Okay. Now here's where you have to have like like a steady, more of a steady hand. So here we go. Just with the tip of your brush, just kind of dot 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 dot. dot. Just all of the highlights of the rose. You can sweep it. Like that. Now, once you get to this point, it doesn't matter if you messed up your French manicure because everybody's gonna look at your roses. <laughs> so there's that. Now, in this one, I'm trying to get as, as close as I can for you guys since I'm alone and I don't have any distractions really. Now, every place that you have that line of the red, you can just kind of tackle it with just a very hint of the light red. And it will still look like a red rose is. Perfect for a wedding, for any kind of black tie event. You can have this covered in glitter, just tons of glitters, and then just one nail covered in roses. You can um, have lace, tons of roses. You know, this is unlimited. And um, I have a rose nail playlist, so it's just dedicated to roses and painting them all different ways. And um, some of them are better than others, but I always just do my best to get as much info into each video as possible for you guys, just so you guys can have success and um, not give up, you know, because it really is a technique. It's not my ability to paint roses oh so well. It was just every every time I failed and I couldn't see the roses at the end, I just kept messing with it until I got it to work, you know? And um, that's what you have to do. That's that's why art is, is, is never like you're the best or you're the worst. It's just like what you feel you've accomplished and how far you've come and how far you're taking it and where you're going, you know? It's just fun. If you can just like escape into a world of art every day, then you're a master, man. That's great. So then there's a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of, boom, boom. That. Then you'd kind of look it over as it's, as its own unit, okay? Let me look this over. There it is. So where could I mo most see my where I need more? So this is a little bit darker in this area than anywhere else. So I'm gonna lighten it up with a few little highlights. Like that. And then, if I wanted to, just with the little tiny end of my brush, pick up, pick up a little bit of white and you can just like go like like that, little dots, like this, and then put a dot in the middle, and then you have a lace manicure. So if you have like messed up your manicure anywhere, then that's how you fix it, and that's how you make it all your own at the same time. So you can like do one of those like fluffy kind of um, lace, and it just makes it look that much more delicate, right? So, like that. See, just that little, it makes it like so much better. I will finish this and when I do, I'm not adding any glitter or anything. This French manicure costed me like less than a dollar of products. And the, br the brushes that I, that I created last forever. I mean, they're, they're, they're made to last. They're not just throwaway brushes. That's so it's like how much do you get out of each brush instead of, you know, just buying them real cheap and then throwing them away. That's just not good. So I'm lucky I got to do this. Okay. 
So just make that and I will top coat and meet you back. Okay, so now with the top coat, you will see that all of the fail at the beginning of the video came out. And, and that's where I wanna give you guys hope, is that it's a process and everything that you do, you will learn from it and you don't have to be scared. It is something that it takes time and effort, but it, the rewards are wonderful and it really can create a career or create a lifelong fun thing, hobby that you can do that is just amazing. So this has no glitters or nothing and it costed hardly nothing and it is just so fun to do. I hope that you guys can see in there. I'm gonna change the lighting. Ah. So hopefully you can see the different because I the last the all my rose videos are very hard to there. Okay, so there is my rose tutorial for now. Um, if you do try them, please say inspired by Robin Moses. And I know I sound like a broken record, but with YouTube today, it's if you don't, then I don't know how much longer anybody can last. You have to spread the word for smaller channels. Um, and get brushes at robinmosesnailart.com. I created these brushes myself and um, over a long period of time. And it is what I use for most of my tutorials. Just the brush and, and regular craft paint and imagination. So. Um, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting my channel while I was away. It feels good to be back and just painting things I like by myself and I know I might sound a little bit weird, but I don't care. I'm just having fun and um, I will probably just come in and post this today real quick just as a quick thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the wishes and being just so cool and um, Gosh, I just can't even tell you how awesome it is to be surrounded by so many amazing women and artists. It's just, it's just crazy. So thank you from my heart and I'll see you back with more. Bye.